look at a problem that's written in words. For problem five, we have a plane flies 1260 miles in three hours. How far will it fly in five hours? Now, there's a lot of ways to solve this problem, but we're going to do it is what we're going to solve it using a proportion. So first, I'm going to say this. Let's let x equal the thing that's asked for in the problem, which is the number of miles it will fly in five hours. So miles flown in five hours. Now I'm going to set up a proportion this way. The number of miles it flies in five hours is to five hours as 1260 miles is to three hours. So, so I have miles over hours and miles over hours. I just want to make sure that I have the same ratio of units on one side and on the other side. Then I can really just forget about the units. Here I have a proportion now. I'll multiply x times 3 and get 3x. And then I'll multiply 5 times 1260. Now, I divide both sides by 3. And I end up with x is equal to 2100 or 2,100 miles. Now, I did this on a calculator. I multiplied 5 times 1260 and divided by 3. That gave me the 2,100 miles for this. So I set up the proportion this way. I used the means extremes property to get an equation. I solved that equation, and that will give me the result. Now, does that make sense? 2,100 miles in 5 hours if I fly 1,260 miles in 3 hours? Yeah, that seems to make a reasonable amount of sense. Let's look at our next problem that involves a map. Problem 6 says, the scale on a map indicates that one inch corresponds to an actual distance of 95 miles. Suppose that two cities are four and a half inches apart on the map. What's the actual distance between the two cities in real life? Well, let's let x be equal to that distance, and this is what we'll have. x is to 4.5, x miles is to 4.5 inches on the map, as 95 miles is to one inch on the map. So here I have miles to inches, miles to inches. That gives me a proportion that describes the situation. I'm going to use my means extremes property to multiply x times 1. Let me do it over here. So this implies that x times 1 is x is equal to 4.5 times 95. So 95 times 4.5. And if I do that multiplication, I end up with, let's see, 427. Is that right? 427, yes. 0.5 miles. So even reading maps, you can, you can uh, solve some map reading problems using proportions. In this case, I have a map in which one inch corresponds to 95 miles. I look on the map and I see that two cities are four and a half inches apart, and what I want to know is how far apart are they in real life. Well, I set up this proportion. The number of miles they are apart is to four and a half inches, as 95 miles is to one inch. Then I simply solve that proportion and I get 427.5 miles for the distance between those two cities. So there's a look at proportions and solving proportions.